In the last part, we made our FKIK setup. It's time to create some attributes to control the feet and the arms. But before that, I left to check the rig to find if there are any mistakes. I noticed that the right arm was slightly rotated, so I recreated the arm and used mirror tools in the skin modifier to apply left hand skin to it. Also, based on what we learned before, I created controllers for the mouth parts and fingers. Link them together like what we did to spine controllers. Link the root of the finger controllers to the hand bone and link the root of the mouth parts to the head controller. Also, I changed the way of controlling the clavicles. Use this controller. First, align it to the left clav bone only in position. Then place it where you want and then align its pivot to the clavicle bone in position and orientation. Now we can link it to the spine tree controller and constrain the bone orientation to it. Let's create some attributes. Select the left foot controller and go to the modify panel. Add an attribute holder and name it L underline foot underline attributes. Open the parameter editor dialog under the animation menu. Set add to type to current modifier and disable these two checkboxes. Now we are ready to create an attribute. First let's see what attributes we need. Heel peel, heel twist, Heel lift, toe tap, toe twist, toe lift. Now we can edit the range and value. For example, in the case of the heel pill, we only need positive value. But for the heel twist, we need both positive and negative values. Also, try to use the same range for them. I use negative 1 to 1. Change the range of the heel pill from 0 to 100 to 0 to 1. For the heel twist, negative 1 to 1. Heel lift, 0 to 1. Toe tap, 0 to 1. Toe lift, 0 to 1. Toe twist negative 1 to 1. Run the reaction manager dialog under the animation menu. Add reaction driver and select the heel pill attribute of the left foot attributes. Add reaction driven and select the z axis of the Euler XYZ of the heel pill helper. When I create a new state, I can set new values for driver and driven. In this case, when the driver value is 1, the driven value is 50. Let's do it for the hill twist. Add hill twist as our driver and the y axis of the hill Euler XYZ as the driven. Here we need two states, one for the positive value and one for the negative value. That's how we can use Reaction Manager to control the rig using custom attributes. Let's try to use wire parameters this time for IKFK blending. Select left arm IK controller Add an attribute holder and name it L underline hand underline attributes. Add a float attribute named FK IK with a range of 0 to 1. Separate the IK and FK by moving the IK controller. Open parameter wire dialog under the animation menu. Select the controller on the left tab. And now we can loop through the arm bones and find the orientation rates. What I want to do is simple. When IK is 1, FK should be 0. And when FK is 1, IK should be 0. 
we should consider two things. Number one is, since we have added the bones in order, IK first and then FK, so the first weight is always IK and the second one is FK. Number two is, our attribute range is 0 to 1, but the weight input range is 0 to 100, so we should multiply the value by 100. So add multiply by 100 to the first weight and 100 minus the value multiplied by 100 to the second weight. And now we have a clean way of blending between IK and FK using wire parameters. Now let's create a box shape for the shoulder roll bone and name it L underline shoulder dash roll underline helper. Align it with the shoulder in position. Adjust the size and link it to the shoulder. Now constrain its orientation to the clavicle and shoulder. Use look at constraint on the shoulder roll bone to make it always look at the forearm bone. Now select the helper as the up node. Select the forearm roll one and use the look at constraint to make it look at the wrist bone. Also at the wrist as up node. Now constrain the orientation of the forearm rolled to the roll one and the forearm. And here I'm just trying to do the same for the other side of the rig. 